I'm the, I'm the son of a contractor and grew up in the plumbing business back in Wisconsin. So when I moved out to California, got into education, and then uh, a few years into it, started my own company um, working outside, um, landscape, masonry, all those sorts of things. And as time evolved, I went from teaching PE to getting the idea of bringing more people into the trades. And uh, when I came to Aviara, people learn about how my background and we talked about maybe starting a class where we could get kids involved hands-on experiences so I do have employees but I'm also an employee and all my friends are contractors all my friends own businesses and so we see this huge need for 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 labor for people that actually know what they're doing so this is an, a, an amazing opportunity for me to to introduce kids to all the different trades and teach them those skills that you know, carry over, not just in if you were gonna do a job working with your hands, but you know, in, in real life going forward. The things that I appreciate about Mr. Peer and his benefit in the classroom in our campus is practicality. He sets boundaries for students and then gives them incredible freedom inside those boundaries. He says yes more often than no. He gives kids the opportunity to explore their own abilities and stretches them. Says things like, well, you could do that. What's a different way of doing that? So the, the, the energy of allowing children to explore different things instead of setting um, direct orders over it must be this way or it must be that way. We need electricians. We're always going to need plumbers. We're always going to need people to fix our AC. We're always going to need people to work on our cars. That's always going to happen. And if you, you know, maybe you start with carpentry and that's not for you, but you learned how to use a tape measure and you learned how to build something and you learned how to take a project from start to finish. Those skills are going to stick with these kids for, you know, hopefully a lifetime. Mr. Peer, congratulations on being honored here today. We are so proud of you and we are so glad that the rest of the community gets to know how special you are to us.